Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another video. The main part of the video is going to be a breakdown with Snuffs of Dilution. The track came out earlier this month on Lowly on Snuffs' EP, Wendy. Besides that, I wanted to give you guys a little update on everything. First of all, I'm working on an album. I can't announce it yet, but I'll tell the YouTube fam I'm working on an album. I'm so stoked for the music that I'm working on. I just sent 10 tracks to master, which is going to be the first part of the album. And then I'm working on finishing up some of the rest of the tracks. Now, my process with this is I'm finishing up a lot of tracks that I've been working on in the past few years. I'm sending it off to mastering. And then after that, I'm going to decide which tracks goes on the album and which ones doesn't. Because I do want to have the quality over quantity type vibe on the album. I don't want to just do 20 tracks because I have 20 tracks. I definitely want to limit it down a little bit. I still haven't figured out whether I want to do the cohesive thing where the tracks are like linked together or like they blend together. Because honestly, who listens to a full electronic album anymore? Like I haven't done that personally in years. I skip to the drops and then I go for it um, because you have like 300 tracks coming out each week. Anyway, besides that, I'm going traveling next month. Yeah, one of my first real vacations in many years. I honestly have been working so much in the past few years that I haven't taken a real like long vacation because in the music industry, I honestly feel like the pressure to perform and the pressure to put out content all the time is so brutal that if I leave for like a month, I'm going to become irrelevant. I know this is a very dark point of view, and it's not something that I always carry with me in my mind or in my mindset, but sometimes, I gotta be honest, I think like that. But yeah, I've been working the past few months because I know I'm gonna travel, so I've been working on content that I'm gonna post while I'm traveling. As you saw in the last vlog, I'm doing a new series called Making a Track from One Instrument, where I pick a random instrument and make an entire track off of that. I think it's a great way to show my audio manipulation skills, and just something I haven't seen on social media really. But yeah, I've been working on a ton of those. Here are a little preview of the ones that are coming up. All right, we got drums. Hi-hat. We got drums. 808. Thirty minutes, we got it. Making a track from one instrument today, cowbell. Other than that, I just heard the new Ma P single, and I had to flip it. I flipped it the day of release. I didn't really know of Ma P before, but I heard the song on New Music Friday. I was like, "Yo, I gotta flip this." So I did a video, and the video has gained quite a lot of traction. So I'm thinking of turning this into an edit that I'm gonna post and share with you guys. And yeah, this gave me an idea to also do some content revolved around all the live edits, all the remixes I've done. Just expanding on the, what if this song was my flow or something, my style, something like that. Um, also doing a few videos with that. So I've prepared a lot of social media content for when I'm going traveling. So I have something to post that's not just me sitting in a hotel room in Logic working on new music because that will eventually end up happening. So yeah, that's the update. This will probably be the last vlog in a while, but I can't promise anything. And if not, you know, I'll be back to vlogging once I'm back here. But yeah, let's dive into this dilution breakdown. Enjoy the video, guys. What's going on, people? We got Snaps in the studio. Hello. Since we just dropped our new track, Delusion, we figured we wanted to show you guys around the project because we've never really done a walkthrough and we figured it would be fitting for the vlog. But let's get into the track. We're not going to show you all the groups here, but just the main elements and the, well, basically the drop because that's what yeah. everyone wants, I guess. It's an it's actually a quite old track. As you can see, it says 2021 changes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we've been sitting on it. When did we start this track? 2000... I remember it was during COVID. Yeah, let's just play the break. So the break is basically just pads and a vocal chop. I think the funny thing to play... Oh yeah, that's you. <laughs> is it? Yeah, you're saying... 
I thought we sampled something actually. No, you're right. <laughs> Wait, let's see. So we have this one. I know the one... Yeah, this one? Yeah, that's your thing. Can we, can we get that without any effects? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the break vocal that yeah. you hear, like the ambient background vibes. Yeah, like, I think this is kind of uh, part two of Exhale in some ways. It has the same BPM, same bounce, and... Uh, yeah. Wait, let's pull up Exhale real quick. <laughs> Good, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exhale. Big tune. But we tried like five or ten different vocal ideas for exhale. And in the end, we figured it's actually cool as an instrumental. And <laughs> with this track, we skipped the whole trying out vocal before we just said, well, on exhale, it worked without the vocal. So let's just make it uh, just like atmospheric vibes in the breaks. Yeah, so we just freestyled a bunch of stuff in the breaks on the vocals. Yeah. Um, and just like reverbed it a lot and just yeah. ambienced it up. But yeah, this break is gonna work terrible live. <laughs> yeah, it, it really <laughs> just is. Just like one big pad. It really is. But let's, let's honestly, let's just move to the drop because the break is just um, pads, re-space, and vocal chops. It's just a lot of layers to make the harmonics. So on the drop here, there was a lot of plugins that is not working now. Um, OTT was an old version, doesn't work now. The hi-hats was made in Core Player, which doesn't work now. And all the OTTs in the project are not working. So um, it will sound different from the final track, but we still think it's funny to show you guys the layers and the, well, sound design. That the went, work, yeah. yeah the, work, the work. The work. Um, so let's just take it from the top here. We have some chance. And actually, in the background, there is the famous Kashmir Hey Ho chant. <laughs> ho. That's without the, yeah. the ho. Then we have a group of saws here. I know the main lead is not working because it was from Spire, which I don't own anymore since I upgraded my MacBook. Um, but the lead group here with sauce sounds like this. So a bunch of different layers, a distorted layer, yeah. like high layer, like mid layer, mid layer, yeah. Another high layer, high detuned layer, yeah. yeah. So that's our sauce. Um, sitting on a group with parallel compressor thing here. Then we have the townhouse compressor because I used that on everything back in the day. Like you can see that it's only taking like two dBs off, so it's just taming the peaks of the synths here. Then we have an EQ, just doing some dynamic stuff here. And then if we move further down, we have a brass group. And of course, there's a lot of plugins that aren't working, so it sounds a little bit dull. <laughs> then we have this one. This sounds very weird, but in context, it's actually quite a cool layer. Yeah. Layers. Yeah, layers. It's super detuned and weird sounding, but it, yeah. it, it, it makes for like a unique sound. I think that's why we spend so much time on this one. There's so many layers. Yeah. Then we have the main group. Sounds like a balloon being... Yeah, I don't know. I think it sounds like a sad cricket. Ah, <laughs> I got it. Does, yeah. Uh, let's see where the lead is from. It is from Excellent Sound. Crockpot. <laughs> Crockpot? Yeah, we changed some stuff in it, I guess. Honestly, not too sure what we did here, but it's running through like um, Logic Stock Distortion Legendary. And it's running through Black Box Distortion distorting the high end and then a lot of like reverb ott sidechain stuff and mm -hmm. as you're gonna hear it's bounced out a lot of layers and reversed them just for that like sweepy texture yeah so a lot of cool sweep and reverses to the lead then we have the drop basses which 
the most simple sound design in yeah. human history. A it's sub and a soul. With a lot of distortion going on. I remember this face was when we, like a couple years ago, when we just discovered Faceplant in Faturator and all the kilohertz stuff. So you'll see a lot of that in the project. Um, then we have the hi-hats that are not working. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, let's see what it is. Let's this. play. Yeah, ride, pretty simple. Symbols. And like what we really wanted to do with this that we also kind of did in Exhale hmm. was the groove is very straightforward. Um, there is a bit of swing in the... Um, yeah. Um, yeah, the the kicks is shuffling. Yeah, the kicks is shuffling, but everything else is like pretty straight. Yeah. Um, then we have a kick. Ah, the infamous. Go go. F and kick go. F and kick go to legendary oh, yeah. kick. We we both used that a lot. Yeah, we distorted it. We added a transient shaper, adding attack and taking off sustain, and that's about it, I think. Um, yeah, we got the small little kick for the sh shuffle. Yeah, down here. And then we have some snare layers. I think, I think Evan just released his splash pack. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Evan, by the way. Shout out to Evan. Yeah. Um, so we have three snares. We have the locked with tail. Main snare from Excellent. Shout out to Excellent Sound. The crane snare, legendary. Yeah. Then they're just sitting together with an EQ, a compressor. And sooth. A lot of sooth, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and then a bunch of sweeps, impacts, stuff like that. Atmo Atmospheres is like a very essential part of this track and probably what we spend the most time on as well. Yeah, cool little vocal side chainy thing. Which we also had an exhale. Yeah, we were like making this track as an exhale part two. Yeah. We were even like considering calling it inhale. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah that would have been funny actually. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the track. As you'll see, we didn't spend a lot of time on doing like sample picking, drum stuff, like super unique stuff with that since everything is so straight. But the, um, the sound design, the synths, the layers, mm. we spent endless amounts of hours on. Yeah. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed Delusion. Yeah. Check out Stavs' new EP, Wendy. Yeah, Delusion is on there, which is why we're in this video. So um, yeah, let's go. Check it out. Check go it stream. out. And yeah, of course, all Stavs' socials will be linked below. So go check him out. If you know of me and don't know of Snaps, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> it makes no sense.